Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good day to everyone. So let's get into the topic damping and resonance. This is under the topic of wave. So let's continue what we have learned. So first we are going to look at describe damping and resonance for an oscillating or vibrating system. To watch this simulation video, go to the link below and answer the questions that follow. Remember, you will have quiz after this. Answer the question. Question number one. What changes happen to the amplitude of oscillation of the slotted weight? And question number two. Why does the oscillation of the weight stop after some time? Think about it and answer. Okay, now we are looking at graph of displacement against time for the oscillation. So look at the graph. What do you see? You observe that the amplitude for the oscillation decreases with time. Okay. So you can see the amplitude decreasing, amplitude A1, amplitude A2, A3 and A4. So T, 2T and 3T are um, the period, T, period 1, 2T, double the period and 3T, triple the period. Next, graph of displacement against time for the oscillation of the simple pendulum. So you can find this graph in the textbook of form 4, but you don't have the textbook yet. So the graph shows that the amplitude decreasing as time increases. Okay, and oscillation with its amplitude decreasing with time shows that the system experiences a gradual loss of energy. So, take note the, that a gradual loss of energy. So, finally, the oscillation stops. So, this answers the question at the beginning of the session. Remember? So what do you get from here? So we learn that the oscillating frequency remains constant. So observe the graph of displacement against time. You will see the the period is the same. Okay, t is the same length as 2t and from 2t to 3t has the same length. So that means the period is constant. Therefore, the frequency also remains constant. However, from this we learn that the oscillating amplitude decreases. Okay, next, we'll be looking at the oscillating system experience loss of energy. So why is there loss of energy? So loss of energy is due to external damping. So, what is external damping? It is an oscillating system loses energy to overcome friction or air resistance. So, external damping is the loss of energy due to friction. Internal damping is the second one, which means the energy is lost 
because of the stretching and compression of the vibrating particles. So hopefully you can imagine this one. Uh, this. So external means external factor. Okay. And the internal is due to the spring itself or the, the system itself. Okay. Now how to overcome damping? Can we overcome damping? Now look at the example. So one example, so if you look at the picture, so one example of damped motion occurs when an object is attached to a spring and the spring is uh, submerged in a viscous liquid. So, the effect of damping can be overcome by applying periodic external force on the oscillating system. So, the periodic external force transfers energy into the oscillating system to replace the energy lost. So, energy is transferred. Hence, the system is said to be in a forced oscillation so it oscillates but it is a forced oscillation okay so this is how we overcome damping and this is a diagram of an example of a heavy damping okay, next we are going to look at the uh, a simulation or a or an activity of the production of resonance using tuning fork kit so watch the video down here so look at the second link uh, provided below so make sure you watch the video otherwise you cannot answer the question so now you have watched the video please answer the question If we are in the lab, we will be doing another activity. But now I will just show you the video of the production of resonance using Barton's pendulum. Now go to the third link and watch the video. Okay, now that you have watched the video, please unsuscribe the quest these two questions. The first question, which pendulum oscillates? with the largest amplitude. Do you still remember what you watched? Mm. Write that down. Question number two. Why does that pendulum oscillate with the largest amplitude? So if you can recall back uh, the video you watch, you can see the cone pendulum that has uh, the same length as the sphere pendulum has the largest amplitude. That cone pendulum oscillates with the largest amplitude because it has the same length as the sphere pendulum. But why is that? If you cannot recall that, you can go back to the video and watch it again. Now, why does that pendulum oscillate with the largest amplitude? Very simple, it's because of it has the same length. So we see that resonance happens to the to that pendulum because it has the same natural frequency as pendulum box, which is made of brass, the sphere one. So the answer is because the pendulum has the same natural frequency as sphere pendulum box. So it has maximum amplitude. We can conclude that during resonance, 
system oscillates with its natural frequency. System oscillates with maximum amplitude. Okay, so what are the effects of resonance in daily life? So if you look at the light, okay, the first, the top picture is the hanging bridge of Tacoma Narrows in Washington. In 1940, the Tacoma Narrows collapsed due to strong winds which caused the bridge to oscillate with large resonance and amplitude. And the picture below it is the London Millennium Footbridge was open, which was opened in June 2000. This bridge experienced unexpected oscillations when 2,000 pedestrian, pedestrians walked on it. So this bridge only a, a, a foot bridge, yeah. So at that time, there was there were 2,000 people walked on it. So suddenly, it oscillates. You just imagine. It is as if you are on a uh, jabatan gantung and goyang -goyang. Okay, and the third fan resonance is used in the tuning of musical instruments. Okay, so we are at the end of the video. So before we end, here are what questions you can ask yourself? If you can answer all the questions, that means you understand what you have learned. Thank you.